Hi, welcome back to Motivational Monday. It's actually Sunday night, so I'm going to tell the truth about that. And it's really so exciting for me to share some ideas with you for this coming week. If you are just joining us, my name is Jennifer Shelter. Welcome. Each week I do a new idea, inspiration, motivation, and action for your week. And this week I was thinking about a fabulous question that a student recently asked. And it was, how do I balance having goals with being? And this is something that I'm so fascinated with and actually dedicated a lot of time thinking about. How do we balance having goals with pushing forward or how do you know the question really was like do I wait do I move forward do I act how do I pursue what I think is good for me there's so much talk about just be just be man just be hey sit back and relax and let it all unfold right which is really great and then there's another part which I would call the yang part which is like okay enough already I've been sitting here being and my life is passing me by <laughs> I mean you could sit and meditate and you know just be like hey it's all gonna unfold and no it won't <laughs> I mean if you think about someone like Tiger Woods or any exceptional athlete they they be their way into their mastery so if you have a goal I would really suggest this, and this is something that I was thinking about, is that ultimately your goal is like this, right? It's the carrot. It's the thing you're going after. And it's it's out there in front of you, you know, like there's the carrot. Ooh, and you're and you're and you want to get to that goal, right? And um one of my absolute favorite characters of all times, which who has many goals, by the way, many goals is Bugs Bunny, right? And Bugs Bunny has a lot of fun. So I was thinking about, you know, usually what happens to me in my process is that I'll set a goal. Like, let's say, um, you know, five years ago, I set the goal of being on television and doing life coaching and yoga and all these things that I've been doing. So I remember making, setting those goals and yet thinking, well, how's it going to happen? How's it going to happen? And stressing out and pushing for it and having many meetings and all that stuff, which is great because I was having fun and I was working at it. And yet it's so interesting though, that the minute I let go of trying to make it happen, then I got a call from the wonderful and talented Banyan Productions to do Natural Reboot, which is such a fabulous opportunity and fabulous show. So, and anything I notice, it's simply a process. And I would highly recommend if you have a goal that you're setting, make it specific and measurable. Really see it, feel it, really feel it and let it burn, burn you forward, so to speak, in a fun way. I'd highly recommend socializing that goal. Talk to as many people as possible. Let your curiosity, like that Bugs Bunny, you know, that Bugs Bunny, like, what's up, Doc? You know, Bugs Bunny is out there. He's pursuing, you know, whether it's Elmer Fudd or one of his adventures, he's not holding himself back. And he really is not embarrassed at all by whatever he wants. So that's the other thing I noticed is that sometimes I'd pursue a goal, but I didn't really want the goal. It kind of, scared me a little bit. I mean, I think it's safe to say that sometimes just when we are about to get what we want, we might step back and think, uh, do I really want that? Or did I want that? Um, and so 
it's been my experience that sometimes I may have sabotaged that goal. So I think it takes a certain amount of honesty. And the second thing I'd highly recommend is what we're really talking about is risk. How willing are you to risk getting outside your comfort zone? How willing are you to risk having a conversation with a new person? Uh, something I recently tried was sharing goals with people that I thought were slightly outside my comfort zone and asking their opinion. What would they do if they were in my shoes? I got some incredible responses and it really opened my eyes to what's possible. Lastly, what I asked myself is, am I really telling the truth about this? Have I been in integrity with this or have I let my integrity slip? Nine times out of ten, if I'm really honest with myself, I've let my integrity slip, meaning I haven't done what I said I would do, or I have to clean some carrot out of my teeth. <laughs> um, so really getting integrity back in means, at least to me, contacting those people that I said I would be in contact, contacting myself and saying, yo, you said you would do X, Y, Z, and you ended up doing X, Y, and P. <laughs> and then saying, okay, well, if I said I was going to do those things, by when am I really going to do them? Otherwise, I just end up sabotaging myself, and I'm aware of those patterns. But I'm curious about you. What are you going to risk this week? What's your goal? And how will you go after that goal and be content in the process. I think so much of the being talk is really simply choosing a way of being while you're on your journey. And thus, you can have a sense of contentment or fun or fulfillment discovering people you didn't know or places you're, that are new to you or testing out new ways of being or new conversations. So for me, Bugs Bunny. I hope this has been helpful and inspiring to your week and I really loved your comments last week so please let me know if this is helpful and I look forward to seeing you in a yoga class or in a coaching session or the Radiant Retreat March 22nd through the 29th. <sighs> Have a great week. Breathe deep. I'll see you next Monday. Thank you.